Hi, my name's Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. We're going to take a look today at a really cool effect that's popular both in music videos and commercial spots, and that's the leave color effect. It's a useful way to pick one color to stay behind, and then the rest goes away. Here's how it works. You're going to want to select a clip that has a really strong presence of a color in it, which we have here. I could select that clip and then choose Leave Color. Let's find it here in the Effects panel. There we go. Drag it on over. Now to see the controls, double click and you can go to Effect Controls and twirl it down. You're going to want to choose a color to leave with the eyedropper. And then you could start to adjust the amount to decolor. Now you see as you do that, it picked up that color, but a little bit of trickiness here with the face details. So I might back off the tolerance a bit and then adjust the softness. And you see that did a good job. We got the red. Now it's pretty tough to leave the reds in the shirt without getting anything in the face there, so I'd consider that pretty successful. But if you want, you could actually match using hue, and that allows you to be a little bit pickier. So as you adjust the tolerance down here, let's go ahead and click the red. We'll turn the softness back down, and you see we could take that up with small amounts. Let's twirl this down and open that up, and that did a much narrower job there. Let's choose one more clip and we'll see that again. There we go. And let's target that red ribbon. Set this to use the hue method, which is a little more narrow. And click on the ribbon. Adjust the amount to decolor. And narrow down the tolerance so it doesn't pick up as many skin tones. And tweak softness. And there you have it. Now with skin tones in red, pretty tricky. So if you want, you can always go after another color. Let's just reset that. And let's show it with something that's not so dominant, such as the blue here. Eyedropper on blue. Match using hue. Turn down the decolor, and you see that that was a much easier match there. But as necessary, you could tweak the softness and the tolerance until you get the results you want. Softness does a nice job of making that gradual, and a pretty cool effect. So, shoot your footage right. Maybe you've got a spot color you want to keep, such as the client's Pantone color or a logo color. That's going to work really well. Red's going to be a little bit tough because there's a lot of red and skin tones, but the effect is still pretty effective. And there's a lot of cool things you could do for music video or commercial effects. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Video Adrenaline with Premiere Pro. My name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net, where you'll find great forums, a magazine, and all sorts of extra tutorials to check out. Thanks again.